What's up everyone? Welcome back to another GTA Online video. My name is Saintsfan and today I'm going to be clarifying the release schedule for the upcoming game modes. We know of two at the moment. One is a new arena mode apparently and it's called King of the Hill and then there's another one. Well, the other one's not necessarily new, but it looks like we're going to be getting a survival creator and this is coming from fun mw2 he was digging around in the game files like he usually does and apparently he figured out basically what every daily objective the first daily objective is and going through the list september 19th he says is when one of the first daily objectives is to participate in a survival series and he says that's not out yet so that date is the likely date we receive the new survivals with potentially the creator mode and then the other part king of the hill that daily objective is planned for october 4th so we should get the king of the hill mode on the third because the fourth is a friday and that mode will probably come out this thursday prior now just going back and just reminding you guys we do know that the drip feed is going to last at least until halloween because there's some loading screens that people have found in the game files that state to basically look for content on the 31st so again, just letting you guys know the drip feed for this DLC is going to extend for quite some time. And again, we think it's going to extend until the end part of November, kind of maybe even going into the first week or so of December. Now, one other interesting note is this kind of regarding what could be coming in that next DLC. Fun had to say that these new daily objectives we're mentioning, they were kind of actually teased or I guess worked on first in Red Dead Online. And then we got them in GT Online. Well, he's saying there's going to be a Red Dead Red Redemption 2 PC release this holiday season, which apparently is going to include the new Rockstar editor because there's actually not a Rockstar editor in Red Dead Redemption 2 on console. So he's saying there could be some new rocks or editor adjustments with this next update that could be something we see because they are taking stuff from red dead online and adding it into gt online if you know it works now what i also kind of want to talk about is the the new survivals and the new survival mode potentially like the creator mode this could potentially be amazing what you see like in the thumbnail that's ideally what could be happening if they allowed the community to actually use all these awesome props and stuff and make really cool survivals, then you could actually get some maps like you see on certain mods. I mean, I'm just gonna show you guys this mod, for instance, but this is kind of like a, you know, a zombie survival base. And if they were to, you know, actually let us use that creator to do some of this stuff, this is some of the things we could probably do. And this would be so much cooler because what you're you're seeing or what you've already seen in the gameplay is just me playing a regular survival. And honestly, they're very bare bones. There's like some guns and some healing around the map, but you're you're pretty much just driving or running around the map and, and killing stuff. Certain areas, certain maps have different enemies, but it's kind of the same. If there were some maps like the mod I just showed, then I think these survival modes could get crazier and crazier. I mean, imagine zombies, like the zombie mode from the Call of Duty games, and then imagine having something similar to that in GT Line. And just one that pops into my head right off the bat, if we could actually sort of maybe build up our base like over the rounds, maybe you have to, I don't know, this is gonna get probably a little too crazy, but maybe you have to go out to certain locations near like the the base part get some supplies or something then you could build up your base gets built up as you progress through but one of the arena vehicles has that shock fence on the front so imagine if you could like put up traps for the npcs or whatever that would be cool and it wouldn't make much sense if you are battling other like humans in this in these new survival modes so since we're getting crazy with aliens, you know, they could totally do some sort of alien NPC that's coming after you or even zombies. Like if you do want to just keep it simple zombies, right? That's 
I, I'll take zombies. But I just, I really hope Rockstar have thought about this, and I, I do hope we get something similar because there could be some really awesome custom survivals that people make if they allow us access to all the all the content. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Like, are you excited for these new modes coming? The King of the Hill one is going to be an arena mode, and that's probably not going to be anything special. But the survival one, that's like the one I'm really looking forward to just to see what people can do with the custom creator. And if they give us the option, do you actually kind of want to see like a zombie survival or do you just want it to be what it is now or it's just regular people? I'm pushing for that zombie, man, because I just I like zombies and I really hope we get something like that because that would be a, a nice change of pace for GTA Online. Anyway, that is it with the video. Thank you all. Just wanted to give you guys an update on some of the stuff that was found in the game files. If you are curious, mark those dates. Please drop the video a like if you did. Enjoy, subscribe for more GTA Online content. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.